Bioconcepts compression garments. How to record measurements. Measurement units. Should I measure in centimeters? Should I measure in inches? Use the system you are most familiar with. Measurements in centimeters. Measurements in the left-hand column are centimeters recorded in standard decimal notation. Do not record centimeters as in the right-hand column with the red bars, or we may confuse them with the system for inches we shall describe later. If you measure in centimeters, make sure you write CM next to the measurements, since most of our customers use inches. If you prefer to measure in centimeters, stop here. You already know what to do. Measurements in inches. Measurements in inches require recording fractions of an inch. We are going to show you a simple method of recording your measurements taken in inches without having to write out all of those fractions. Know your tools. Measuring devices using inches may be ruled differently. The paper tapes and the plastic ruler are ruled in eighths of an inch, while the retractable measuring tape is ruled in sixteenths of an inch. Measure in eighths of an inch, even if the device is ruled in sixteenths of an inch. Shorthand notation. This system is great for eliminating the job of writing out the fractions of an inch. Write the inch, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc., and then write the numerator of the fraction. 2 for 2 eighths, 7 for 7 eighths, 1 and 1 eighth inch becomes 1 and 1. You would say it 1 and 1. 3 quarters of an inch or 6 eighths of an inch becomes 0 and 6. You would say it 0 and 6 or 0 oh and 6. Shorthand notation system for recording inches. Write the numerator of the fraction. If you write them as decimals, we may confuse them with measurements in centimeters. What do you do when the measurements fall between eighths of an inch? For example, the measurement D, which actually measures two and nine sixteenths of an inch. For a child's small fingers, you really need that extra precision. Add a plus. When the measurement falls between eighths of an inch, just write a plus to represent a sixteenth of an inch. This example shows a measurement that falls between one and one quarter and one and three eighths of an inch. On the data form, you would write 1, 2, plus. Remember, in order for this method to work for your patient, we have to agree on how to interpret the measurements. So write all of the measurements in eighths of an inch. But if the measurement falls between eighths, just add a plus. It's easier than it sounds. Just record your measurements in centimeters with a decimal point, but not as a superscript. Take your measurements in eighths of an inch and write down the numerator as a superscript. Add a plus if the measurement falls between eighths, but do not record as decimals. When you record measurements in inches, it is not necessary to write in inches or marks. When you record measurements in centimeters, just write CM next to the column of measurements. Follow these instructions exactly to save time and get your patient's garments as quickly as possible.